Hello everybody, this is Mr. Warlock FTW. Uh, we're back in Oblivion, where we left off. I'm not sure if I want to do a quest on a guild yet, or not, probably. Maybe Mage's Guild. Uh, maybe do some more on the uh, Midas Magic, because I haven't done that in a long time. So, we're gonna, or maybe I could do some Dark Brotherhood, or uh, the um, Thieves Guild, which is not too hard, but <sighs> okay. Uh, let's start on some Mages Guild stuff. Yeah, we left off last time, and the uh, uh, what's his name? I can't <laughs> Joffrey. That's it. Our Captain Glitchy told us that we need to recruit uh, help from all the other cities so we can help Bruma with their Oblivion Gate problem. But that can wait. I can do that periodically, you know, uh, like one gate per set or something, uh, every other set or something like that. So I can do it throughout instead of doing it all at once. It'll spread it out and make it look better. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Arcane University and start a major skilled quest. All right. I had a little bit of a sore throat yesterday, or else I would have recorded it yesterday. So I'm feeling better. It's just been a little bit cold around here. And, uh, yep, so, after I do this quest, I'll probably, actually, this next one, I think, is the one with the Necromancer's, Necromancer's Amulet and the Bloodworm Helm. Should you need something, the council is in complete yeah. disarray at the news of Manny Marco's presence in Cyrodiil. The King of Worms has obviously targeted the guild. But we have no idea why. No demands have been made. All of my attention is devoted to the Council. We must discern the reason for this sudden attack and stop Manny Marco before he destroys us all. I am unable to look into something that has been brought to my attention. Are you capable of going on my behalf? Of course I can. I can go now. Good. Please go to Bruma. I have not heard from Jean Frasoric for a few days now, which is unusual for her. While I welcome the break from correspondence with her, I worry that something may be amiss given recent developments. Find out if Jean is all right and let me know if she needs anything. Okay. Um, let's talk about Jean. Now this one is, the next one is the one with the Bloodworm Helm and Necromancer's Amulet. This one I'm just supposed to find out about what happened at the Bruma Major Guild, so... Make sure she's all right, will you? It's not like her to avoid contact with the University for so long. All right. Come see me when you've spoken to Jean. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be some problems there, and I'm gonna need some help, so... I don't think I'm gonna use a companion, I'm gonna try to get a new spell or something to help me out and usually with necromancy there's undead so I'm going to get a spell called spirit warrior I think it's a powerful restoration spell creates a spiritual doppelganger of the caster um, although it cannot deliver physical damage it has all the items and enchantments of the Progenitor. No, that's not it. There was something... Holy Sprite. Manifests an entity of holy light. It is sole pur its sole purpose is to seek out and destroy the undead. It is immune to almost all physical and magical da attacks, but when it attacks it uses some of its essence and will eventually expire. It may distract no, yeah, but not harm the living. Okay. Ambrosia 
ectoplasm, glow dust, and a gold nugget. Okay, um, hmm, let's see, there's a couple other spells I could do, uh, let's see, I'm gonna write down those ingredients real quick, uh, if I have a pen around here, no I don't, okay, glow dust, ectoplasm, and brochure, I'll just remember that, real quick, alright, go to my books, they're all ingredients, so, shouldn't be, too hard. No, not inspiration, sorry. Uh, ingredient codes. There we go. Um, Ambrosia is here. And if that's not it, I'll get uh, 1E B E8. Okay. Uh, I think that's what it required. Let me just make sure. Yeah, glow dust, right. Ectoplasm, ambrosia, and glow dust. And a gold nugget. Alright. So. Oh yeah, and I have to repair my uh, lightsaber. Oh, I already had some ectoplasm. And a glow dust and gold nugget. Ah. I got a new mouse and I'm trying to get used to it, but it's a little bit heavier than the other one and bigger, so... Uh, I wonder, shock, that's... doesn't have any area, so I'll just use that. are similar to that of Holy Ray, um, but all, um, but effects are all in the area of the caster. If no one else has been affected by the spell, it will heal the caster. Okay, what's Holy Ray do? Holy Ray casts an instant hit beam which causes divine damage to undead or daedric targets, so don't use it around a Mosabale. Um, and restores health on non-evil targets. It has no effect on evil mundane targets like or Dramora. Okay, so it's just Daedra like uh, Clan Fair and whatnot. Holy Flare, a stream of holy fire from the caster's fingertips. Undead targets burst into holy flames while others only feel a calming effect. Okay, since this one doesn't require any essences, I think that would be better. And I might want to try this, but that requires a greater life essence, which I'd have to make. Um, there's a holy trap, holy stream. Anyway, uh, let's try this one. Holy ray sounds good. Flawless diamond ambrosia. Okay. Um, I 
think I may have a flawless diamond in my inventory of my chest. So let's try that. A flawless diamond. It's flawed. Nope, I don't. So I'll have to get one. Miscellaneous codes. Well, first let me get the Ambrosia, which was the first one on the list. I can just do that. There we go. And the... Ah, where's the miscellaneous code? There it is. Okay, I need... A flawless diamond. Flawless diamond, okay. Alright, it's, uh, 3-8-B-A-9. Okay. And these should be adequate for what I need for this quest and any other things with necromancy. So I need to go to Diamond, flawless diamond. Okay. And I need to have a spell. Um. No. Yeah, that should work. 